Hey guys, welcome to Miniature Heroes. So at the moment I'm working on this super cool build for my 40k gaming table and I cannot wait to show you once it's complete. I'm so, so stoked about this one. I needed to make some ladders for the terrain and I thought it's time to show you these super easy to put together ladders. Perfect for Necromunda, 40k, any kind of sci-fi tabletop game. These are so easy to build. If you'd like to see my progress with what I'm building at the moment, there's a few sneak photos and a write-up on my Patreon account. It's completely free for you to view. However, if you'd like to make a donation, then it helps with more materials and producing the content and showing you what I get up to. So first you're going to need two of these stirring sticks. Now these are 1mm in depth and 5mm in width. So just going to mark out on here 4.5 inches on both of the sticks and then you're gonna just um, snip these with some cutters it's really easy to cut with cutters just um, line it up on the flat side and then just give it a snip and just hold that so it doesn't fly off and you just cut really nice and easy just like that. So that's the two sticks. So now we have the two sides of the ladders. Next we're going to cut some of this cross stitch material which you can find in most crafting stores. I'm just going to cut this to the same length as the stirring sticks and you'll need two of these. and cut another one. And then what you want to do is you just want to cut off all these little bits on the side, just keeping the square shape in the middle. point the scissors into it and it just catches the little bits easier and you get a nice clean edge on there like that and you're just going to do the same with the other ones so next is to glue down the cross stitch material to the stirring sticks I prefer to use tacky glue it just adheres to these materials better and has a stronger bond PVA glue will work just fine I wouldn't recommend using a hot glue gun because what you'll find is it will block some of the holes and when we come to slotting the matchsticks in, they won't slot into the holes. So while the glue dries, next is to prepare the steps for the ladder. Using matchsticks, I cut these 3 quarters of an inch in length. Each matchstick will give you 2 steps. In total, you'll need 10 steps. Next is to dip one side of the matchstick into some tacky glue and then slot that into the mesh. These matchsticks fit perfect into the mesh. Allow two spaces between each step.
Then using a stirring stick, apply a small amount of glue to the other end of the matchsticks. So next, with one side of the ladder laying flat on the desk, line up the matchsticks and slot each matchstick into the mesh, working from one side to the other, pressing firmly, making sure they all slot in, and then leave it to dry. So at this point you have a ladder ready to use for any tabletop game, but if you want to take it out one step further and add some detail, next grab some cardstock. So here I am using some cardstock, but if you don't have this to hand, cereal box cardboard will work just fine. Allow 8mm in width and then, then allow 1mm for the top and bottom of the ladder. Cut this out for both sides. So this clear sheet of pearls you can get from a craft store, they are 3 mil in diameter and you get roughly a thousand on a sheet. I stick this down on both sides of the ladder to represent rivets. and then glue both sides to the ladder. So next is to paint the ladder with some black paint. I make sure I get it into all those recessed areas, just ensuring that everything's fully covered in black. Once it's fully dried, I then apply a dry brush of lead belcher. I hope this video has been helpful, and if it has, and you'd like to see more of these videos, Hit the like and subscribe and leave us a comment below. For the products that I used in the video, I'll leave a link in the description below. I've recently signed up to Patreon and I'll be posting regular content on there. So if you'd like to support the channel, any donations would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Miniature Heroes.